How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. It took me a little bit of time to actually buy the book because I was a little bit skeptic. Yes. But um, I wanted to offer it to my daughter, so I decided to buy it and start reading it. And I was applying it. And in the beginning, it was hard because I had to let go of uh, a lot of expectations, I'd say. You know, and let go of what wasn't for me. And once I was able to just, like, accept that certain people were not the quality of men that I wanted, then I was more able to kind of accept that and then kind of move on. And then actually quality men would, would come. And then I could figure out that they were actually men of quality. <laughs> yes. What helped you figure out that they were men of quality? Um, well, I guess in the beginning, it was really uh, taking a look at myself and what I wanted. Like I had written down the things or the qualities that were non-negotiables for me. Yeah. And kind of like just put them in a place where I can see them so that it was a bit more accessible to me. Yeah. So that helped a lot. And um, also, I would say um, taking my time, you know, and, and putting the no kissing rule was a bit hard for me. I didn't really understand it that much. I think it was hard on myself. Like, I felt like I couldn't do it. But it's actually pretty easy. And then you kind of get to see who will accept or not the, the proposition and how they react to it was a, a big telltale sign of whether I wanted to keep talking to a person or not. Yeah. Yeah. So that really helped. I must say, I was skeptic about it. And I'm like, I wish I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I really wish people understood how that is actually a really, really good method. It's getting out there. Well, yeah. I've well, been our... following you for a little bit and I've been following your lives and I was like, okay, I really got to buy the book. Like I got to at least to buy one book. So I'm starting with No More Assholes, but I'm definitely not going to finish with that one. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so tell me some of the reactions that you got to the no kissing for three months dating rule. <laughs> uh, I've got so many reactions. Uh, I got insulted a lot. <laughs> that as if I wasn't allowed to ask for something. Like when I was asking for what I wanted or desired, a lot of unhealed men would take it personal as an insult. Like as if I was insulting them because they were not providing something that I needed. But that that was like, that's a that's a them problem. That's not a me problem. <laughs> you are 100% correct. So but that just kind of lets you know on how how healed someone is like their the way that they think and their reactions. I think also the, the yeah, the philosophy that you have made it so that was like, I agree with what you are saying. So it gave me confidence to follow you. I love it. Um, what were some of the insults that they used? Um, I wasn't uh, I wasn't pretty enough for me to ask that. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah. Right? Which you know, I think if I hadn't had somewhat of a good self esteem, that may had may like hurt me. But at that point. I was reading the book, so I kind of knew <laughs> that it, like, I was kind of anticipating a lot of the backlash from men. Guys. Yeah, guys. <laughs> because men don't <laughs> act like that. We love men. Men are amazing. Mm -hmm. But guys are the ones we need to avoid. But using that no kissing for three months dating rule helps us understand who's who a lot faster. Yeah, definitely. And you just saw like who was willing to uh, make plans, who was willing. A lot of them were, were like, come to my house or do this or do that. And then as soon as I explained, OK, well, I'm going to really make sure that I, I know who you are as a person before I get into anything. 
And I actually like would explain to them, some of them who wanted to know the reasons behind it. I'm like, I don't want to have that connection with someone that I'm not sure of. Yeah. And yeah. some like the good ones were like, I, if you need six months, if you need a year, I'm your guy. Like yeah. I want, I want, and then they would name this, this, this. Is that what you want also? That's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Especially when you just got insulted. <laughs> well, yeah. So, and, and never take those to heart, right? Um, people who don't know you are irrelevant. So, you know, there's that, right? Like, how can I take your insult to heart when you don't even know who I am? What you say is irrelevant. You have no, no background on me, no history. You have zero, uh, you know, there, there's no way that you can even judge me in any way, shape or form. You're just trying to take me down. Um, so there's that. And there's also like understanding that small people, insecure people will step on others to try and elevate themselves, which is, which is what they're doing. Um, so how long have you been using the no kissing for three months dating rule now? Um, I think maybe two, two months, two or three months now. I haven't, uh, I don't have, I have some, uh, men who are in like that I'm getting to know, not a lot. Like I'm yeah. definitely not choosing one person only. Yeah. But there are my preferences <laughs> yeah. and it's just of yeah. those who who understand how to communicate with me where the flow of communication is easier yeah so Some... you're talking to multiple people simultaneously oh i would say maybe two or three like a lot of them leave at a certain point because they can't wait anymore the impatient ones the impulsive yeah. ones yes yeah perfect right they take themselves out of the equation it makes it so much easier on you um how do you find dating now using this rule versus dating before and and the way the the direction i'm going with this is i've had women say it takes the pressure off it makes it easier what do you think i think that it has helped definitely my anxiety because it's given me a sort of like rules and I feel more safe in the sense that I feel like there's a direction into where I'm going instead of being more disorganized and it's definitely making me feel less anxious and just in general happy like I'm single and I'm still looking for someone but I'm happy yeah, yeah. like I'm enjoying I'm grateful for life and the things that I have my life by myself is wonderful and I've taken that from from you in the sense of saying, I will make my life so wonderful that it will only be an addition. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my God. You are making me so happy right now, just so you know. Ah, well, thank yeah. you so much. I have lots of gratitude for, for that. Lots, lots of gratitude. Somebody's asking what the age range is of the people that you're seeing. Um, I'm actually 38, but I look pretty young. I mean, I still get carded when I buy wine. So nice. um, it will go from anywhere, please don't judge, <laughs> anywhere from 26 to almost 50, I would say. Yeah, love it. Love it. Um, that's, I love that there's that big range because, uh, you know, some people who are younger will say people, people who are younger won't wait. And that people who are older saying people who are older won't wait. It's not true. Generous long-term thinkers come in every age. My husband was a generous long-term thinker at 14. Well, the person that I am most into right now is actually, I think, six years younger than I. Yeah. It's just that his philosophy of building a, a family and have it, having it be long-term and just um, very respectful in w respecting my needs, basically. Yeah, I love it. So um, how far along is this person on the, the three months? Mm, I would say like a month, but I don't think like it's not, a, he's not the type of person to really rush anything. Yeah. You know, so. Did you tell him the date? This would be our first kiss date if we want to kiss on this date. Uh, no, because he said it, it could be longer if you want to. Just let me like, let me know 
like if you feel okay you can let me know when you're ready mm -hmm. um do you remember do you know the date of your first date together with that one uh yes okay what was it uh we went to the water because i really enjoyed uh i really enjoy nature and i didn't want it to be very uh just wanted to be really simple and kind of like make the conversation like you know the date basically so uh but he he like took everything that I had told him and kind of like used it to plan the date came and picked me up and he lives further away so he came like to my house and he asked me what would you like and I'm like well I prefer that you come pick me up so he came to pick me up no problem came to pick me up uh brought me a coffee that with the like what mm -hmm. I like how I like it and uh, then we chit chatted we just had really a uh, good conversation nice uh, so that was about a month ago. So we are like beginning of May. So beginning of April. So May, June, July. So beginning of July. S really try to stick to the whole three months. Um, right? Like try to try to remember when the day was. The date, the calendar date. Um, and then make that your goal calendar date. Um, okay. try to not kiss before that date, like really try to do the whole three months because you would be surprised how many times something happens at two and a half. Mm. There's something like that two and a half month mark. I've seen it over and over and over again. Well, I will definitely take that into account. I was planning anyhow of doing it just because the, the results, like I said, the quality of men are just better now. Yeah. So it feels like a lot less wasting of my time and just more energy for me. Yeah. But for sure, I will wait because I know that I know that it's going to work. I just have a feeling like, yeah, I believe somebody's it. asking where you're meeting these men. Um, usually it's it's on uh, dating apps, which is not the yeah. best. But I mean, it, right oh, now, I disagree. I disagree. It, I think dating apps are awesome. Really? OK, well, uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, because it, it increases your exposure. Um, you know me, I'm about science. And when you use dating apps, you use a lot of averages. So the more exposure you gain, the, you know, the one thing that I say is, if it takes 100 people, if you have to get through 100 people to get to your one, if you go through 100 people one each day, it's going to take you 100 days. If you do 10 people a day, it'll take you 10 days. So uh, we don't know what your magic number is, but the more people you expose yourself to, and I know that sounds kinky, uh, but the more people you expose yourself to, <laughs> the, uh, the faster you're going to get to your person because you're out there. You're very much out there and you're letting people see that you're available. Well, wonderful. I wasn't expecting that as an answer. I just assumed that it, was, it wasn't the best way. There are like... As you see, there are incredible people on dating apps, right? Yeah. They're there. They're there. We just have to understand how to weave through them. We have to fine tune our antenna to create some manifestation. We have to get rid of the selfish short-term thinkers, which the no kissing for three months dating world effectively helps you do. We need to unclutter our space so that it's more clear for the generous long-term thinkers to come and find us. Yep, totally, totally. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy. So you got the book for your daughter. Did she read it? Um, right now she says that she's a bit busy, but she's definitely going to read it, she said. Yeah. So my daughter is uh, studying abroad, so I kind of like don't, I'm not with her. So I just want to make sure that she picks really, yes. really good guys. So monkey see, monkey do, mama. Mm-hmm. Share your story. Share what's happening with her. Can, I can like what what a like wonderful book that I can offer my daughter. Like what a wonderful like. I'm 38 now. If I would have had this like before, I don't think I would have lived <laughs> so many bad dates. <laughs> yeah. But I I just am so happy that she's 18. So it's gonna be so wonderful to offer her that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So in the meantime. Uh, tell her about your experiences, like be open. I went on a date with this guy. I told him I was using the no kissing for three months dating world. He said this, 
the insults. I went on a date with this guy, told him about the no kissing for three months later. He said this, complete gentleman, totally respectful. Um, you know, I dropped the ones who insulted me lickety split. I'm seeing the ones who were open to this and welcoming of it. And they're turning out to be amazing people. Like keep sharing this with her so that she really views this voyage through your experiences because seeing how effective this is at getting rid of the wrong people and really helping you focus in on the right people is going to encourage her. Even if she doesn't read the book, she's going to learn from you how to put the no kissing for three months dating rule into practice. I, well, I, I wasn't sure about sharing. I had shared something last weekend and she, I just, you know, like that. But now I, it's confirmed. I can. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. Um, and so we we are their, their first teachers, right? And they are watching us and they are learning from us all the time. Yeah, I've always felt bad that I, I was not really that able in, in relationships. And then she got to see that while she was growing up. Yeah. So now it's a total turnaround. And exactly. I can't wait. Yeah. Now you know better, which means now you're doing better. Mm -hmm. which is which is why it's very important to be educating her exactly yeah. exactly yeah and teaching her like you know how to be treated too um but it is important to stick to that whole three months because uh again we don't know what's going to happen at two and a half and um you know the whole point is is for both of you all of you all of you to give somebody enough time to show you who they are. Um, don't forget, you have to meet his people before you kiss. And he has to be a 12 out of 12. I'm really like hoping. I'm just hoping. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That's okay. Like I said, I made my life pretty awesome. So it wouldn't be too, uh, you know, too sad. So uh, now you're hoping that the person you're seeing or one of the people that you're seeing or the one that you're most interested in is going to turn out to be the one right capital t capital o he might not be and and we want to you know as you know we want to keep from building a story in our head and filling in gaps and telling ourselves we know something about the one in fact we don't we need to stay very present and just conscious of the information that we have and not create more information in our brain so it's it's important to always be aware of what you are actually seeing and learning and not filling in any gaps that's the hardest it is i've for me, it, it was, it's a still, uh, sometimes I, I catch myself, Yeah, you know, and I'm like, oh, uh. <laughs> like, but here's the thing, right? And the, the reason why you're creating the story is because you really, in, in a way, you want this roller coaster to be done, right? And yeah. so mm -hmm. I'm really hoping I'm going to find that one sooner rather than later, because this whole dating scene kind of sucks a little bit. And it's good that you're making your life amazing, which takes away from the suckage and you're using a no kissing for three months data rule which takes away from the suckage um but sometimes you meet people just so that you can better conceptualize who you should ultimately be with so it's possible that this 32 year old guy that you met is the one he is everything it's possible he came along just to open your mind up to what you deserve um I thought I was perfectly happy in my first marriage. And then my second husband came along and opened my mind up to the reality that I didn't have to sacrifice safe intimacy for safety. So I had safety in my first marriage. And so let's say this, this one makes you feel safe, but it doesn't work out. The next one makes you feel safe and gives you loads of intimacy. Is really open and sensitive about themselves. Very affectionate, <clears throat> very clever, very funny. They're, they're, you know. So some people come along just to just to give you like, oh, I can have this too, and and so you're adding more to your I deserve this list. That makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. I think <clears throat> every relationship that I've had has been a lesson. And each one I've like accumulated baggage and I'm like, oh, okay, I can, I can, oh, okay, I can have this. Yeah. So makes a lot of sense what you're saying. I think it will also help with like maybe the disappointment, like the initial disappointment in the moment. Yeah. But it gets yeah. easier when you do all the like small little things, it gets easier. Like the time of disappointment is really not as 
intense and it's not as long as it was in the beginning. Yeah. And it's so much easier to let somebody walk away when you're not kissing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It is much easier to, to just be like, oh, well, I guess it wasn't the one. Yeah. Uh, what's your name, lovely? Uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, anything else you want to share with us before we go? No, but thank you so much. I was shy, but I was like, I had to because I have so much respect and I'm so grateful that I totally had to. I love you so much. Thank you I, so much. I wouldn't be here without Stephanie's, my love. So I'm really grateful for you. And I think all the Stephanie's are really grateful for you too. <laughs> it's really, it really makes a change in people, in people's life. I'm sure. Like if I just take myself, it's, it's just like a, a really big weight off of my shoulder that I can finally like smile more. Ah, oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. And I will keep on uh, trying to uh, get other people <laughs> on board with this because I, I just think that it's a wonderful philosophy of life. Oh, I love this. Thank you. Thank you for doing this with me. I appreciate you so much, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Stephanie. I'll talk Bye. to you soon.